August 15th, uh, called school board meeting to order at 7.58 p.m. P.m.? A.M., excuse oh, me. No, I've been up for a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need a motion to approve the agenda as presented. So moved. All right. Tommy Gartrell. I have a second. Second. Joe Wigington. All right. Is there any discussion? All in favor? 5-0. All right. And now we'll move to our action items. And first up, Dr. Thomas, I'm going to turn it over to you, I think. Tentative approval of the 2024 millage rate. I'm going to call up our Chief Financial Officer, Amy Smith, uh, to give us some information about her. Well, no one's here, but then. <laughs> um, uh, don't have uh, much for you today. Uh, we had anticipated having the tax digest today um, in communication with the county. We had been trying to plan ahead and set meetings. Um, the assessor's office, uh, did pass the digest off to the tax commissioner the day before yesterday. Um, since then, there have been some issues with the file. It's all electronic now, so it's uploads and downloads. So there's um, there have been quite a few errors and missing information, so they are working on that uh, between the assessor's office and the vendor who is processing the digest. So we do not have the consolidation sheets, which means we cannot set our millage. Um, we have nothing. Uh, so. Once the tax commissioner has the digest consolidation in the correct format with all the errors solved, which could take two to four business days, uh, then they will pass it along to us. At this time, they anticipate it being sometime next week. So we apologize for not having anything. We were really hopeful. We tried to plan with the county. So our best efforts kind of uh, this time didn't work out very well. But um, but. We should have it sometime next week. We'll probably plan to come back the next week with a call meeting to set the tentative millage because they do need time to do their thing. I will be out of town next week um, and, and trying not to terrify my assistant finance director by making her do the five-year the five history and the millage all in one ball without me here. So, um, But we can still get the timeline required by the county. I've already talked to Daniel Reeves, the tax commissioner. And we actually kind of plot it out as long as we can have it by so-and-so date. It gives us time to get an approval, get it in the newspaper for seven days before we do the second and final approval. Um, they need it by September 13th at the very, very latest. We think if they have everything to us next week, we can actually have it the week before that and actually have the final possibly on the 6th on your workshop date. So hopefully, you know, it just depends on when that digest comes in to us. I need it. If everything's in, in great shape, I just need it for a couple of hours, and then I, I can turn it over to y'all. But I need it for a couple of hours. So um, I'm, I'm going to check Sunday when I get back to make sure if it's here. I'll go ahead and do it Sunday and be in communication with Dr. Thomas, and we'll let y'all know dates. Uh, you might just want to pencil in that Monday or Tuesday. The 29th. 26 or 27? 26 or 27. Sorry, I didn't have it in front of me. Um, that we might need to have a meeting on one of those dates. Now, if we do it on Tuesday, in order to make the newspaper deadline by noon on Tuesday to run our ad, we would have to have it done sometime early that morning. So. Like 4 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> well, that's up to y'all. <laughs> I need a lot of coffee. <laughs> I need a lot of coffee, but I'll be whenever y'all want to <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay. Then we can we tentatively plan eight o'clock on one of those two days to nice. work out the day. Yeah, we can. I could probably good to do that. And it's gonna be, if we can't, it's going to be tough. The twenty sixth. Well, it's simple. I'll just have to go back and. Well, if you needed to call him, you could call him. <clears throat> I can't talk on the phone. It's getting my ridiculous. <laughs> Okay. Is, is there a date? Is that Monday better than Tuesday? Well, it sounds like the Monday is better than Tuesday for the newspaper. Right. So why don't we say the 26th? Well, as long as we have it to the newspaper, when, by, when I, by the time when I bring it in here, y'all, in the five year history format, that is the same format that okay. goes to the newspaper. The only thing I have to know when I do that is for sure when the second meeting, the, the final approval will be because it is required to be in the ad. So if we can definitely oh, say gotcha. the sixth workshop day in whatever time That's it what is that day, do, then, yeah. I mean, I can do it as long as I can have it today and by noon, 
um, we should well, be that's, good. that's such an important piece of business. I don't know if we want to piggyback that with the workshop, depending on how much work we've got in the workshop. Now, that would be the tentative. Well, no, that would be the final approval. I'm sorry. But now, if we push it to the next week uh, and do it on Thursday at the regular board meeting, we are going to push the tax commissioner a little bit because that Friday is the drop dead last day. Um, By all means, let's get in a hurry when that buddy of the tax commissioner get us <laughs> well, the tax, now the tax commissioner has the, is, the tax commissioner is who's responsible to take it to the Department of Revenue. That's not been the delay. That okay. okay, so what do we prefer, the 26th or 27th, Monday or Tuesday at 8 o'clock? Monday will work better for me. All right, all right what's tentatively say August 26th at 8 a.m.? All right. And we'll confirm that when we we definitely have to have the digest to do this. So yes. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> two weeks away. Okay. Ms. Smith, thank you very much. Any other questions for Ms. Smith? All right. I won't be able to be here. I'll be in. I'll be doing. I just looked at my calendar. I'll be here twenty six, and I'll be tied up. I'll be on call in. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. As long as you have got four. That's okay. I have, I have four. I hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll have the information prior to that for you. Yeah, that's true. that's true. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, approval of capital outlay project application for Hill City Elementary. Dr. Thomas, you want to tell us a little bit about this? I'll be happy to. Thank you. Uh, so last week we submitted our capital outlay project application for Hill City Elementary um, for fiscal year 2026, meaning that we'll start at the end of the school year. And so this is where we submit what we plan to do in the hopes of receiving state money to help us fund that project. And so Tuesday we received notification from the state indicating now that we must approve what we've submitted and the state has told us what they'll fund for that project. Um, so for this project, the Hill City will receive $462,000 for renovations, and then we'll receive $589,112 for modifications. So all told, this is about, it's over $1 million that we'll receive in capital outlay funding, and then the entire Hill City project will cost just under $3 million. Okay. okay. So uh, those renovations, we talk about renovations, it's relighting, it's restroom work, it's replacing we're finishing wall surfaces, um, new floor, and, and so forth. The modifications are primarily limited to the new HVAC units at Hill City. So we need a vote to approve that we are in agreement here, and then the, the next steps, once we do that as a board, we will uh, we'll sign it and send it back to the state. And that capital outlay is part of our cash flow, isn't it? Yes. We have a five-year cash flow that you've already worked up. Okay. All right. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the capital outlay with the state for Hill City Elementary. So moved. Tom Gartrell. And do I have a second? I'll second. Sue Finley. All right. Any discussion? All in favor? 5 0. Okay. So the capital outlay for Hill City is approved. Me and Dr. Thomas will sign off on that. All right. Uh, last item, approval of Georgia DOT counteroffer. So, Dr. Thomas, again to you, can you oh. tell us a little bit about this? Yes, sir, I can. So, I met on Tuesday with a, a right-of-way administrator concerning uh, our counteroffer to the DOT regarding those two parcels of land around our Mountain Ed facility. Um, and <clears throat> there, there are two different parcels. There were both two different um, price per square foot that we were offered. Uh, we countered with uh, a $3 increase in one parcel, that was accepted. Um, the other offer, we counted with a $3 increase per square foot for that parcel, and the negotiations kind of landed on $2 increase square foot, okay? Um, so if we are able to accept this, you know, we're looking at, I think I think the original proposal was about $102,000 that we would get from the DOT. Now it's about $168,000 we get from the DOT. Um, there is an issue that was unsurfaced uh, or the surface on, on Tuesday, and that's the actual title of those properties is is um, to the Georgia School 
I saw the Georgia Education Authority. Okay, um, and so our board was awarded a quick claim deed for each of those parcels, one in 1969 and one in 1978, based on what I found in the clerk's office yesterday. But um, I, my recommendation, Mr. Chairman, is that we we first clarify, you know, that we can um, that we can legally sell that property. And then that would require some just making sure that we're good with our real estate attorney. And then if we can, then proceed with, with those negotiations and accept the DOT's counter offer. But I think we do need first to make sure that that is, that from a, from a title perspective, that we have what we need to do with that. Um, so I'm open to any discussion. That was just something that the, the actual right of way administrator uncovered in our meeting on, on Tuesday. Dr. Collins, which uh, portion of land is the one that they? Said it was two dollars. Uh, I think it was parcel um, parcel forty seven. Okay. Would that be the one that would Tommy? Do you know? That, 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 that is the bigger. That is the bigger parcel of the two. Is that the parcel that's there with the old cannery, or I think it's with the old cannery. Okay. Yeah. So I would say that we should get a real estate attorney involved and get clarity on. It. This get this cleared up, and then I've never heard of that organization. But, but I'm <laughs> there. I, I wasn't born when right. <laughs> one of the quick claims was done, and was in elementary school when the other. But I, I've never heard of that. So let's. I mean, my, I would say we need to get with a real estate attorney and get this cleared up the title, and then we can move ahead. Well, you know, clearly it doesn't need to be resolved. But I'm wondering how much you. How much is worth, though? We have a reasonable price on that property. Mm -hmm. What was? Do you know what it was? I don't remember the figure. Um, well, do you have that somewhere? I, uh, Mr. Wallace had that. I probably Mr. Parker, do you think you could get that for us? So, so I do have an appraisal on the whole place. Uh, that be? That's all. I haven't sent it to you yet, but I just got it. Yeah. I do think we need some clarity on on just those. Those two parcels because we, it was not, um, like I said, it's the Georgia Education Authority. Dr. Thomas, I think that's the DOE from back in the day. It, it, it that's could what be. I'm thinking um, about. I'm, I'm, sure. really could no, be. I'm pretty sure yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe that's how they did it in the quick claim. He gave it back to the local business. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Just to kind of look at that, but I'd say let's just let's get a real estate attorney get that cleared up. Okay. And, and then we can move ahead from there. Okay. Is that good with everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right. There's no further items of business, so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So, Tiger. Joe Wigington, Tommy Gartrell. We are adjourned at 8 11 a.m. All right. <laughs>